This week's episode is brought to you by Knockout Fitness because a healthy mind sparks a healthy conversation. Hi, Kieran, how are you doing? All right, it's hot, man. Oh my God, my bra strap's showing. <laughs> um, take two. <laughs> is that what? Is that a problem? Well, yeah. Why? Because. Why? Open up another market. <laughs> <laughs> Might start getting some OnlyFans. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, show, shoulders a bit. Can you just show a bit more shoulder? Show don't it? <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. You're through to another episode of At Your Big Age, and I am Dion. And I'm Kieran. How you doing, Kieran? I'm, I'm, I'm all right, I'm good. How's your day been? Uneventful. Good. Yeah, we like, we like that. Uneventful. Yeah, we, we, do. Like, we do. We like uneventful. Like, nice, nice, plain sailing day. 100%. Um, so... Today's topic mm. we were speaking about yesterday. Which one? There's a few. There's a couple. We had a couple. Okay. So which one do you want to talk about first? Ah, oh, Kieran. The floor, I did the Will Smith. The floor is yours. Okay. So today we're going to talk about, um, you know how like, you get to a stage in life where, you know, you kind of have to take a little bit of responsibility for the people that you're choosing to date and engage Ooh, with. This is a good one, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, sometimes it appears that, you know, s- ladies and men, I think men in different ways, I would say, right? Mm. Um, when you kind of keep going for the same type of person you're going to kind of end up with a kind of same result so we're gonna talk about women on this one aren't we we're gonna talk about people we're gonna talk about people we're gonna talk about men and women men and women yeah and i mean just in case yeah you get bashed i always talk about women you never talk about guys guys have yeah in in partners too yeah true we'll balance out well we'll balance it out we'll balance it out so so when we were speaking off air we you were you were saying about like there are we, we'll just start with yeah, women yeah. right so you you, we, you were saying that women kind of ish some women tend to go for men who are still i guess quote unquote the bad, bad boys. boys the bad boys right women love a bad boy and when we were talking about it i was a bit like well no nah, because like at the age we are now Who's realistically going for that? People still do. Do you know? People still do. But the the question is why? 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 Where does it come from first? Where yeah. is it? Where did you go through that phase? I I don't feel like I necessarily went through that phase. I feel like when I was about <clears throat> when I was in my teens, mm-hmm. for me it was a bit like I want a sophisticated thug. So someone that I could take anywhere, like I like, like you you knew you knew how to do road, right? You you had a level of consciousness. You wanted Nas from Belly. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you yeah, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, just just someone because obviously it was a different it was a different time. You were younger, so that I guess the. The, the environment that you're in, like I grew up in Thornton Heath, right? And um, you kind of wanted somebody that would be able to handle themselves in the event of there being a problem. So if you've gone out to a rave, whatever, you want to be with that guy that can hold it down if things essentially kick off kind of thing. So, but, but at the same time, I needed to be with somebody that I could, I could still take home to my mum or my parents. Do you know what I mean? I had to be with somebody that would be able to flex accordingly, regardless of where we kind of were. I guess I'm a bad example because I was with my partner for nearly 20 years. So No, because we still had you had the, the, the Nas, the Nas, um the Nas in belly thing still holds true because a lot of women went through that. And I feel like they still go through that. But I get it because you wanna it's natural for you to want to feel like you're... No one wants to feel like their man gets badded up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's not... I, I couldn't imagine yeah. what that would feel like mm. to, to be a, 
I know that your man is getting bad up, badded up every two seconds, but I think that there's a line that that you can be. You don't have to be like bad to look after yourself because everyone can look after themselves. No, and there's there's different ways you look after themselves. That's true. But, oh, sorry, but um, yeah. I, f- I don't know where where did it start? Music, mate. I don't know where did it. Where, what was the what's the what's the cat? Because to be fair, growing up. All we really had was, and it's mad because I'm going to say it and I don't believe in it, but a lot of the role models we had in music and stuff, it's, mad, it's toxic. Yeah, 100%. The, the, yeah. Like the masculinity was toxic. Yeah. I hate the phrase. But yeah, but it was. And it still is. Yeah, the 80s and 90s. Yeah. It was very toxic. So for you to be a woman growing up, I'm assuming, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm assuming because I was never a woman growing up, but it was, if those are the images that you're constantly getting bombarded with, Mm. Then you're gonna be yeah you're yeah. gonna you're gonna want to have that name brand guy yes yes that you walk in everyone knows him ah oh, high five oh I did it, oh, I did it. Oh, sending you drinks all of that stuff it's the yeah the recognition aspect I get it but that's when you're young yeah when you're young so when you're now in your thirties and maybe late thirties and early forties some people still go for that like I've 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 got friends that have said that they can't see themselves with somebody that is a normal a normal guy. So a normal guy being someone that works a nine to five or mm-hmm. yeah, like just a normal kind of guy. People say this all the time. I've had conversations with people, they said this. They like, ah, oh, because they're not boring, but they're just too straight laced or they're just too or there's no edge. Okay, but at at, at this yeah. At this big age, Ooh. That's wild. what kind of edge are you looking for? Because, you know, like, for example, like I was saying, when we were younger, so when I was like, you know, in my late teens, early 20s, and, <clears throat> you know, at that time, you know, raving was quite eventful. Quite mildly, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was do you know what I mean? It was, I, I've, 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 been, I've been to many clubs where there's been shootouts, you know, running, <laughs> it's not funny, um, running for my life. Fort and Heath. It was, they, no, they were never in Fort and Heath. There was, there was actually one, a, a massive, Sorry, um, there was a massive, quite a quite big shootout in, um, in the club in Croydon once actually. That was like the wild, wild west that night. But, <clears throat> but yeah, but obviously there was security in knowing that the guy that I'm with isn't about that life. But at the end of the day, <laughs> no. Not about that life, but you know what I mean. If push comes to shove, he can look after, you. He can look after yeah, himself, yeah, yeah. and he can look after me. So obviously, yes, that's going to be attractive to me because it, it kind of shows a sense of masculinity. And maybe this is perhaps where this stems from. But what I'm going to say is, is that in this day and age, and obviously, you know, our audience are mainly between the ages of thirty to forty plus, right? So, given that, realistically, you'd assume that. That kind of lifestyle, unless you're in, unless you're in that lifestyle, right, really has nothing to do with you. So why do you need a man that can, that still has that edge of that's being a little bit rude? That's what they used to. How do you switch it? If that's your type, if that's always been your type from, I was going to say one day, but from, mm. like that's way, day. Yeah, from mm. way back when, if that's always been your type... Does it really change now? If if that's the, if that's a quality that you deem as in very important, I need my man to be able to do X Y Z. If it comes on top, but why is it gonna? But this is the thing. But yeah, no, I hear you. Why? Why? Why, why, is, it, why is it gonna come yeah, on? Why, why is it gonna come maybe on? Maybe it's never going to. But well, just in case. Just in case. Just in case, because you never know. That security. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, but the thing is, you could actually you could date. Masculinity is not limited to their you know their potential threat of violence 100%. right so you can still get a very masculine man who is a business owner or works a nine to five and actually live a nice quiet quite safe safe life do you know what i mean and you know it's mad because it's double fold because i feel like a lot of a lot of guys 
when we're younger, we play up to certain stereotypes. Because Very true. Very true. We Because the girls mm. dig it. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. we'd be loud. We'd be extra. Mm. And it's mad because a lot of the things that people ridicule now, like the guy that's in the in the bar paying for a drink and pulling out X amount of money to just roll off £10. It's, it's funny now and it's ridiculous, but that was a bona fide way for you to get talking to somebody before. Mm. because And it's mad because they're just seeing the money and seeing you. And then all of a sudden they're interested, but it, it's ridiculous. Mm. But that's, that, that is what worked. So these, these are the same kind of traits now that some people still adhere to. So if uh, loud, overly aggressive, rude, like a little bit dismissive, all of that rolled into one is an edgy guy. And th- this is the same, the same type sounds of guy they're going like to go a, for. That sounds like a nightmare to me. Yeah, but this, some, some people like a nightmare. They're going to keep going for the same guy. Yeah, it's true. Like, oh, like, oh, I just want someone to settle down with. I just want to be... So try and change your type. People get so mm. attached to their type yeah. that they can't see anybody else. And the funny thing is the, the same guy that isn't your type could have been... He could have been a devil when he was younger and just decided this isn't for me anymore mm. but you've still got all those traits you can still look after yourself and look after your your, your family and whatever else mm. it just it never has to come to that because you're so far removed from, from it, it yeah that it doesn't even matter yeah but some people want to just hold on to that this is this i never want to this is me this is what i like i never want to think it this is what i'm looking for do you think there's an element of it being like a kind of subconscious self-limiting um like almost conditioning that they have because because maybe actually they don't believe that they can get anything outside of that because I guess if you're so so imagine if this is the type of guy you've been attracted to from your early teens you're now in your mid-30s or what have you and you're 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 now going out and you're and you're seeing guys who are doing their nine to fives. They they you know they they might be doing very well, but where you've kind of put yourself in this kind of what's the word I'm looking for? This lane. Mm. Maybe now you think, well, why would a guy like that be attracted to me? Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe. I didn't think about it like that. Maybe. Because I think, like you were saying earlier, it's like sometimes you kind of only go for what you know. Like, for example, I've had people, you know, say to me, well, Dion, you know, why you, why you date, date white men? And I'm like, you're going to have to make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to make a sound. <laughs> that was a very long pause. <laughs> that was an awfully long pause. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, for me. <laughs> but there's a difference between type and preference, right? Yeah. So your preference can be a specific race or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's your preference. That's completely different, but. Your, your type of man is very specific. Like, if you start, you get past, like, height and stuff, mm. and you really boil it down, if you really want a, a, that type of alpha male guy. I don't really buy this alpha male stuff. No? <clears throat> no. Why? I don't buy this alpha male stuff. Because the thing is, like, I, th- I feel like that when we throw around the term alpha male, the majority of, the, the majority of men are not alpha What's males. Alpha male? What's alpha well, male an, an alpha male... Because I don't consider myself an alpha male. An alpha male, like, you know, typically is like, of, is, is like the, the, the hunter, gatherer, you know, killing bears. They're, well, there's no men doing that right now, unless they're in Russia somewhere, living in the woods. Yeah. Do, you, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so we, we throw the term alpha male around and apply it to a guy that just has money or apply it to a guy who's got maybe a good social standing or whatever. Mm, mm. That, that's not the true definition of alpha male. I mean, I could Google it right now. No, you, that was pretty accurate, to be fair. That was Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was like, so, 
I don't, I don't, I don't buy the alpha male stuff. And a lot of of, the, of these platforms like to oh, alpha male, better male, all this kind of stuff. Actually, maybe ninety nine percent, maybe ninety nine and a half percent of the men in the world are better males, and that's okay. Mm. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. But you know it's not. I mean? It's not. Um, they tend to be the ones that. A, a theme to not have the edge. I hate the women say this all the time. Oh, you just, I don't know what it is. He just doesn't have that, doesn't have that what? He doesn't, he just doesn't have that. And they do the pause, like, she doesn't the pause where it's like, <laughs> I can't, yeah, that pause. Like, I just, I want, like, so imagine you're, you're trying to find your way amongst all of this as a man. What is this? That you're telling me that I don't have. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Because you can't even verbalize it. So if you can't verbalize it, I don't know what you. This is why. I, this is why there's so many people that are single, because no one can tell the. We don't know what the other person wants in terms of that that edge. So there's all these guys walking around that don't have any edge, according to all these women walking around. Okay, single. but why are you gesturing towards me? That that no, was no, no, that, no, but that was one that that was one. Ex- obviously, when I was talking about that thing, I was kind of a bit lost for words as to how to kind of explain what I what yeah. I meant. But I don't feel like women walk around with that. I don't know what it is I want. I think women do know what they want as well as men know what they want. But actually, is it more a case of like? You know, I think I saw a clip the other day and this woman was saying, um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll play it, but this lady was saying that most of the, the men that women want, by the time you divide it down by, let's say they've got to be a particular height, they've got to have this amount of money, da, da, da. The pool gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So then there's only like a really, a fraction of men that women in their mind are like, this is the guy that I kind of want. So then he now has way more choice. So he's now going to be more than less likely to settle down because he's got all of these kind of options. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and I hate to bring Kevin Samuels into the conversation because, um, you know, not that I hate it, but, you know, I've got, diff- Ooh, I've got a different kind of view towards Kevin Samuels as opposed to most, I'd say. But I think one of the key things that he was basically trying to say to people is, Stay in your lane. Mm. And I don't and I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. Yes, there's gonna be the odd person that's able to, you know, jump out of the A road and get on the motorway. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but for the most part, it, it's okay to kind of just What does staying in your lane mean? What does that what does what does def- define the staying in your lane? Why are you doing this? No, no, because I, 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 someone's going to say, what does that mean? So you got no, when I say stay... It's <laughs> from what I understood what Kevin Samuels was saying in terms of staying in your lane, was that, you know, if, if, if you are a person who... <clears throat> like, for example, he'd always say, you know, a, a, woman, <laughs> a woman over 35, like... He, he basically put us on the rubbish heap, essentially, right? But essentially what he's saying is, is that if you're, you're, you're over 35, going into your 40s, whatever, you're not really the cream of the crop anymore. Wild statement. No, it is. It is. Of course it is. But what he's saying is, is that, so for you to kind of be like, these are my non-negotiables. He has to have six figures. He's got to do this and he's got to do that and he's got to do that. I kind of hear what he's saying. So, so when he's saying stay in your... No, I don't, no, don't want to do this because this, this is long. Oh. You're doing fine. I don't feel like I was articulating something. No, you're doing fine. I, I understood what you were saying. Okay. You're doing fine. Yeah, yeah, for real, pick me. Really? Are they going to call me a pick me? Yeah, it's all right. It's about time you got called something. I, what do you mean? I get called stuff all the time. It's me. No, it's not. I, I want to kill him. <laughs> He's, he's making me mad. Yeah, no, that's true still. He's getting me mad. You were doing well. You were on a roll there. You just... <laughs> you you, you wanted to hang myself, didn't yeah, you? you snuffed it. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, so... Oh, God. Where, I can't remember where I finished off from. But essentially, 
I kind of understand what Kevin Samuels was saying. You know, there's going to be the odd person that, or, you know, the odd few people that are going to be able to, and I think especially over here in the UK, we don't have that same amount of, um, you know, I guess black men who have the same earning potentials as, as America. America's a bigger place. There's more, there's more companies. There's, do you know what I mean? Like they're a bit more forward in terms of, not race relations because they're not, but you know, in terms of a corporate the corporate side of things and and and, and business wise Amer- black american businesses are flying mm. do you get what i'm saying so there's more opportunity for, you, for I, I think in the states for you to acquire that amount of wealth than it maybe is in the uk so if somebody this is the thing i i personally don't really know any women who are like he has to he has to earn a minimum of this, 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 and this, this amount. I personally don't know any women like that. I think th- uh, the women in my circle tend to kind of now be at a stage where it's like, do you know what? I just want actually somebody that I can settle down with, have kids, have a nice home. Just don't be a and, punk. And we live good and, and don't be a punk. Do you know what I mean? Like there isn't all of these kind of, he has, to, he's got to have that edge. He's got to have, but he still has to have something about him, and that and and what that's no. But do you know do you know what that something is? You got that something. Go on. That something is confidence. It's confidence. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 confidence. It's you know it's it's confidence in how you in how you walk, how you present yourself, how you talk, um, and also have that um, that level of masculinity. I think that's actually what women want. But then maybe perhaps what happens is that they mistake that for the guy that's m- like, that might be mad aggressive or he's still mm. on road and he's, you mm. know, he's moving weight and he's doing all this stuff because to them, that's what signifies masculinity. Yeah. But in actual fact, it it's doesn't. Everything it's everything else. Do you know what I mean? What's the, the male version of that? Because if women go for bad boys, what do guys do? I would say that from a woman's perspective, I guess men are probably aspiring to, not necessarily getting them, but, you know, the kind of, the, the, the baddie, do you know what I mean? The baddie, the, you know, banging, bang, banging body, the tiny waist. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you have, a, did you go through that phase where you always went for tens? Not always tens, but I think I would have said, depending on the... Be careful with the numbers though, because just, you know, I know it's not the country. You're going to have to repeat what I'm saying on the mic for them to get okay, it. Yeah, yeah. But at a certain time in my life, because of how I was living, a certain female was very attractive to me. Yeah. So a, a, a female that wasn't too involved in what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be very dismissive. I don't care what you're doing. I don't, you know what I mean? But I'm just here for that. Whereas when you grow, actually as a man, I think next step is you want a partner to help yeah. build the empire rather than just watching you build the empire. Whereas when you're kind of, you know, on road, you don't mind the fact that they're not helping you build. I like the fact that she's not in my business and not asking me who yeah. owes the money. But yeah. if you turn legal and you're doing that same company, this girl that's no longer interested, she don't care about that, she don't help that. Mm-hmm. Now that might also be a red flag. So I think that's the male version of so what growth in the woman. When you're younger, yeah. you may not be looking for so much things in her. And as you get older, you're looking for someone to build. So. Yeah, at that age now, certain things like, for example, the girl that's a bit, not it holes, but the girl's a bit fast, mm-hmm. and she's with more than, when you're younger, you might can kind of look past stuff like that, you don't really care, it's not long term, as you're getting older, you don't want no fast fast girl, mm-hmm. you can't build with that, mm-hmm. so I think that's more the male equivalent, when you're younger, you don't mind the fast fast girl, I could be one of her many on the roster, but, but, but you know, but, older, I don't want that. But, should, but should we, you know, really throw away the fast fast girl, because clearly she's got fantastic networking skills, excellent, she has something about her because she got all of us. So I don't mean fast or so. It was the right. Okay, desired the girl that was desired by many, and was happy to give to many. A fantastic networker, and this is why it's important. You should have brought her into your business because she could have built you some amazing business relationships. I have had that girl. That's my point. She's perfect when you're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on the road, I love her. <laughs> when I go legal, I don't need the girl that's networking. With all the man and man, I'm trying to do legal life and you know every and everybody up and down the country. That's not the girl you need then. When you're on the road, you're right. That girl's very useful. That's what I mean when you're on. That girl's useful at that stage in your life. Mm-hmm. She can plug you in up and down the country, network from here because she's in the raise with everyone. She knows everybody. Mm-hmm. 
drought comes, she can plug you into everybody. <laughs> so, so, okay, so what happens to that girl then? Because every, do, do, do you know what I mean? What, what, happen, what, happens to, what happens to that woman then? Let me tread carefully, what I'm saying. Um, no, don't tread they carefully. Tend to, I feel like they're probably the ones that tend to be still be on those looking for the the the, the guy uh-huh with the because it's a it's a lifestyle do, yeah. choice mm. it's, it's got to be a lifestyle choice which is why when people say if you i feel like if you the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again yeah and expecting a different result in it mm. not to call anybody mad but if you keep going for the same type of guy or girl and it's not working out for you if you are not willing to change your type or change the parameters of what you deem important in your type, mm -hmm. then accept your lot and just keep it moving. Because you're not really, you don't really want anything different. This is, you're just playing like you do. No? It's, no, no, I, it's not that I'm disagreeing with you. I'm just wondering if there's like a more, like a, a, a deeper, um, you know, like what I was saying earlier, like is maybe is there, there's a part of them that, doesn't think that they can now slot in to, um, I guess, a different lifestyle, maybe out of, you know, self-confidence issues. Because the thing is, as much as somebody might look good, there could be things inside them that actually makes them kind of feel like not worthy in certain in certain environments. Do you, do you understand yeah, what I mean? Um, so now I'm wondering, actually, <clears throat> you know, if you're going to be dating guys in that kind of lifestyle, for example, the bad boys, there's going to be certain things that you're probably going to go through. Um, and some of those things could be slightly traumatic. Mm. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, like um, Dee was saying off uh, on the other side of the camera, like, you know, raids, yards getting raided, you know, police Stress. involvement, all that kind of stuff. You know, it is, it, it is very, very stressful. So, you know, there could they, they could be elements of, I guess, you know, like from a, you know, a counselling perspective, like there could be like some codependency issues there. There could be some almost trauma bonding to the lifestyle. Do you understand what I mean? So I don't necessarily want to write these people off because I think there's probably, there's deeper things mm, going, go, going on there. And obviously I'm not going to sit here and say that every every guy that's on the road is abusive in type of, in some in type of way but there 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 there's probably a higher if if you're that i got to speak in it <laughs> you keep doing this this loaded pause thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you know what i mean like if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're this type of man who's been cuz we're obviously when we're, we're talking in context of age now right yeah. so you know, like I feel like some people, they, they, they might have their wicked ways, maybe when they're younger, and they kind of grow out of it and realise, a bit like Nas, you know, um, then, gets, then gets kind of wise as, as, they, as they get older. But then you've got some people that carry on that, to that toxic behaviour all throughout yeah. into, their, into their, like, you know, their, their 30s and their 40s. So if you've been with somebody like that, if you've dated that kind of guy... You, it, I guess there's a, a part of you that's like, well, I can't let my ex see me with some soft guy. Oh yeah, of course. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You gotta keep the. So you got you got to keep the levels kind of yeah level up and and. I just had an epiphany too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the other side of it is? A lot of people feel like they can save. Yes. Like I, I can. You, the bridge will be. Ah, oh, he's no good. He's uh, mm -hmm. no, like, You don't see the good in him. I can change him. All he needs is the love of a good woman. Yeah, uh, you can't. You can think it, uh, da, da, and then you keep going through this mad cycle where you, every single dude you meet, you're trying to fix him. Yes, some of them don't want to be fixed, mm -hmm. and and there's some girls too that don't like. There's just people. Some yeah. people are, are broken, and they like being broken. I don't want you to fix me. Just leave me alone. Yeah. You hit the nail right on yeah, the head there. Yeah, but they keep going. See, I had the epiphany. They keep, <laughs> <laughs> they keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep. It's like, what is it? Saviour complex. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to call it codependency as well. Um, 
element of people pleasing. Um, yeah, like you need the positive and negative on a battery. Same, like, yeah. that in order for this to work, you need to try and fix me and I'm going to mm. just be broken for how long? Yeah. And it's just, it goes around and around and around and around. And, but then in that is where the excitement is excitement. Yes. There's, you get that dopamine rush where mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, boom, it's all fixed. So imagine going from that now to a situation where the, nothing needs fixing. Yeah, the dynamics just different now, isn't it? That's and that's where the oh, it's boring. But do you, but men, but men are like this too. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I, I I'm, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this, but um, there was a guy that I was talking to for a, a little bit, and you know me, I'm very peace, I'm very chill. Yeah, so zen. yeah, do, do you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not here to argue. I ain't got time. Do you know what I mean? We're just gonna keep it just nice. And he said to me. Um, you know, when when we when we were kind of talking, I found it difficult because you like, you know, I always regard I always regard you as like a breath of fresh air. Like you 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 just brought something different to my life, mm. but I didn't know how to handle it because I'm not used to yeah, yeah, yeah. someone being so peaceful. Yep. And I, and that's when I realised that a lot of men say they want peace and in actual fact they they, they 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 don't because they don't actually know peace because they know some people have gotten so used to fun- functioning in chaos chaos mm-hmm. that if i don't have any chaos now this is my original every day if i don't have the chaos now i don't know what i'm doing because i'm just so used to there being always being some kind of situation or we're arguing or yeah this is going on or that's going on and it's it can it's it can get to the point where it's it's so common that it's just the norm. Yeah. So you, to go out of that now, it's like moving to another country where you don't speak another, you don't speak their language. Yeah, you're just you're literally. confused, you know what yeah. you're doing. Mm-hmm. So Kieran, so to summarise. I don't even know where to start. How do we, I don't know. Just. Uh, don't limit your options. Don't limit your options. Don't limit your options. Don't be afraid of change. Start with the man in the mirror. Michael Jackson. Mm. Start with the man in the mirror. Because the thing is, like, my platform is all about change, right? Mm. And it's all about growth and self-awareness and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you you can't do... You know, some people can do it forever, but it's unlikely you're going to be able to do this forever. And I think essentially all, all we want as humans is is that companionship and that safety, isn't it? That's the bottom line. That's what we want, isn't it? We want the companionship, the safety, and we want we want a unit that is solid and, you know, can... Especially in your later years. Yeah. Who wants to be, do, who wants to be going through the stress that you were going through when you were in your 20s? Yeah. At this point. Yeah. At your big age. At this big age. Oh, I can't think of anything worse. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy and relaxed yeah. and chilled. That's it. Now, um, if you've been affected by anything we've spoken about today, um, I do have an ebook called How to Build Self Awareness. It's a very small one. If you just go to the website, it's www.lovelaybear.com, and it'll be on the on the on on the first page. But um, I do feel like a, a lot of a lot of people who are making these choices probably do need to have some type of talking therapy so even if you so if you go on the resources page on the website there's a list of support services and also there's a link to the black and asian therapy network where you can find because i always recommend you get a black therapist if you're black right um find yourself a black therapist and talk about your issues because what you're what you'll realize is that you know, a lot of these, a lot of these behaviors and the things that you're doing is coming from unhealed traumas, and these could have been things that you sustained prior to these relationships, or things that have happened within the relationship. And we're all just here to grow and get better, aren't we? Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of At Your Big Age. Please drop your comments, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.